So I just want to start this video by saying that I love the direction that they're going with the new trailers. Like the fact that have a Nenser, a proper Nenser doing the videos, the, the style of the video. So it's more hype because I always felt like Tekken 7 trailers were like kind of dry and not that interesting, but they really show a lot. So star. So I think, and the first thing to notice is they're showing off the Tekken 8 characters and the logo as well. So, you know, obviously this is a sign for things to come, a sign for all the Tekken 8 stuff. Like it's actually happening, you know, we're getting Tekken 8 content. So the usual logos and so on. Now, so we get to see the stage again. Now, I thought this was Safina, do you know what I mean? Because that, that is actually like the bottom of Safina's like dress. You get like similar like purple color scheme, the jewelry on the, on the ankles. So it's like very Safina-esque. Maybe there's something in the lore that she did something with Safina, who knows like, but. Okay, well, I won't talk about it. So my opinion on the new outfit is that I think the top half is super good and I like that they're going kind of deck by degrees kind of style with the guns obviously because you can use guns in that game and just the dress like the dress is giving me like deck by degrees like vibes so I um, mean obviously the hair and the glasses is very Resident Evil 2 like Ada Wong kind of look but I like it overall but the top half is for me is super good but I just don't like the bottom half. I think there's like too much going because like the shredded parts. I don't think I really like them, but the top half is super, super good. Your luck is run out. New quotes as to be expected with pretty much an overhaul of the characters. But yeah, it, I really like this. No. So remember I said at the start that I really like the direction that they're going with the trailers for the Tekken Age. So if this is like the kind of formula they have for feeling characters, I really like it. I like that they have their own title associated with the character because it gives them more personality. It fleshes them out a little bit more. So the whole Silent Assassin tag is really, really good. And she looks great. I really like the new design. Tekken 7 quotes, can leave a lot. Now, this was very concerning. So she has a side step 4-2 from her step. Now Nina's obviously a very good person trying to especially with a side step one, she gets a lot of plus frames. So having a hell sweep out of her side step one pressure is pretty concerning. But there's also a move. This seems to be a new move that she has. And she can dash afterwards. So I don't know if that's like a heat thing or something, but that, that homie move is definitely new. And so is this new side step four follow-up. Back one four, except instead of a mid, it seems to be maybe it's still a mid, but like the animation is different for sure. And she can cancel from mids, I'm not too sure. New move there. And the guns, and now we're going back to Death by Degrees, see the guns. And it's not even just a combo extender. Later on in the trailer, we're going to see her use them pressure as well. The homie move. So, I think this confirms alone that flip over is still there, and it still assists. Chain grabs. But I wonder if this X-Ray thing is also, that's also a Death by Degrees thing. So I wonder if that's like just for the trailer, or is actually going to be in-game as well. Classic quotes. Now, Power Crush. Now, this is her. What did they call it? Heat Extender or Heat Smash? I can't remember. But this is hers anyway. Look at that. Look at that gun string combo. I like them. So, I think that was a counter at launcher because I think Lars pressed here. So, this is a counter at launcher from her Dark Power 4 3 4 string. And this is obviously her he smash. So she gets a full combo of that. See, that's what I mean. Look, does she has plus frames on block with the guns? So the guns is actually like part of pressure and offense. 
which could be really interesting. But it looks kind of goofy as well, because you're just shooting them, and they're just blocking the bullets. So it's like a bit goofy, but... And then we can see more of the stage interactions here. Because you have to launch her, which I assume she's in heat state, in heat state for this. I'd hopish. Now, I really like this rage art, and I think rage art as a whole in Tekken Age, it feels like the characters have more personalities, and the rage arts are like a bit more tailored for the characters. So I really like that rage art, and I think this line goes so hard. This line here goes so hard. I really like this rage art. I really, really, really like this rage art. Now, this was actually a tie to ending between the two sisters, so I feel like this would have been a really good opportunity to also reveal Anna, her sister. But I think if they're ever going to reveal Anna down the road, they could use this trailer as an extension. So they could like show that clip and extend the trailer to show Anna shooting from the helicopter. They confirm that it's actually Anna going after her. And then that could be like Anna's reveal. So yeah. I really like this trailer direction and trailer formula, so I'm really hyped to see more character reveals and more redesigns, so I'm super happy with Nina. And of course I will be trying out Nina when she comes out, as one of the two waifus in Tekken 8 so far, so I'm obligated to learn her. I just have to show the rage art again because I think it's so amazing. Like, this Nina just screams death by degrees everywhere. Like the guns, the x-ray stuff, the more assassin focused moves, this just screams step by degree. So personally, I'm excited for Nina. Let me know what you guys think. And thank you for watching.